Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. I have here in my hands the brand spanking new Blue G90 Pro, their very first gaming phone. It's available today, August 26, and you can pick it up for an introductory price of $199 while supplies last, but the regular MSRP is $249. Lots of great stuff going on in here. It's got a 6.5 inch 1080p screen, a 5100 milliamp battery, the brand new MediaTek G90T gaming chipset, which allows you to play Fortnite, you can play Call of Duty Mobile, you can play PUBG, you can play pretty much whatever you possibly want to play at a really cheap price. And it's a really sharp looking phone. So before we get into this unboxing, I do want to say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, I appreciate you being here. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Now let's see what's inside the box. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the brand new phone from Blue, the G90 Pro. I do like the way this box looks. It seems like every time they make a new phone, they get a little bit better and better at making these boxes. But you can see on the back, first thing, Fortnite compatible. 6.5 inch full HD display. It's got the MediaTek Helio G90T gaming chipset, which is no slouch at all. 120 gigs of internal storage, four gigs of RAM, a 48 megapixel camera with a depth sensor and an eight megapixel wide angle. So lots of cool things going on in here. Android 10, supercharge, or sorry, quick charge, 18 watts, super 5100 milliamp battery with wireless charging. So they really packed a lot into this phone and it looks really sharp. I absolutely love this purple color that they have on here. It's called Purple Haze, and I think it I think it looks good. I think it helps it stand out from the rest of the phones that they have and really does make it look like a premium device. You can see it has kind of like this gradient effect to it, almost like tiger eye, whereas it catches the light, it has different uh, kind of colors looking to it. It's very uh, kind of reflective, but changes at the same time. It looks really cool. Here's the cameras on the back, 48 megapixel, eight megapixel wide, and then it's got a two megapixel depth sensor and a macro lens. So this is pretty much loaded for bear whenever it comes to cameras, especially for a $200 phone. That's crazy impressive. You got the buttons over here on the right, volume rocker, power button, the left hand side, you've got the SIM tray, which also, it holds two SIM cards and also an SD card, so cool there. It's got a single downward firing speaker on the bottom along with the headphone jack and USB-C for 18 watt power charging. So you can get recharged quick, fast, and in a hurry. Got the blue animation whenever it starts up. And we'll go ahead and set that off to the side so we can see what else is in the box. One great thing about Blue is they always give you everything you need to get going. It has a pre-installed screen protector on it. You've got the power brick here, which is a nine volts or should be five volt uh, to two and a half amp. But the nice thing is with the 5100 milliamp battery, you shouldn't have to recharge it that often. They've got this braided, uh, braided kind of metal looking cable with the plastic cover over it, just like we've seen with the last couple of phones that they've made. So I like that they're sticking with the uniformity on the accessories. Toss that off to the side. We've also got the standard blue earbuds in here. And hey, in 2020, I am super excited that they put this in here. I recently got my Note 20 Ultra, I uh, got the Z Flip, all these Samsung phones and Apple phones are not even putting uh, earbuds or anything in them anymore. So I'm really glad that Blue still puts all of this in here. If you want to decorate with some blue swag, there's a little sticker there. Here's the least, doc least read documentation uh, in all of the world. <laughs> so uh, toss it off to the side. And then we have this premium looking case. I really like this case. It's got some pliability to it, but it seems like it's built really well. Blue logo on there. It's got some little ventil uh, ventilation uh, openings on the side or on the back of it so you can air cool your phone essentially so the heat can escape out. And then you've still got the recess cutout protection to protect your cameras, your fingerprint sensor, all that good stuff. And then you've got raised bezel protection all the way around the flat screen so you don't have to worry about scratching it up if you place it down on a flat surface. But of course, you won't have to worry about that because you've got a included tempered glass screen protector which you can throw on there as well. So you've got the film screen protector that's already installed on it. 
and then you can take that off if you want and then put the glass one on here so i really really like that they include all this stuff in the box like i said you're good to go 100 percent. you don't have to buy a case you don't have to buy a screen protector none of that stuff you're totally covered and it's all included in the same price so uh, at 199 bucks or 250 bucks that is a good deal go ahead and register our fingerprint here on the back i'm really glad it has a physical fingerprint sensor on the back and not one of the ones under the screen. These are so much more responsive. They're fast, they're very accurate. And as you can see there, I didn't have any problems registering it. Now, let's go ahead and check it out and see how quick it works. So, boop, there we go. So this is probably just about the fastest uh, reading screen protector, that, uh, sorry, the fastest reading fingerprint sensor they've ever installed on their phone. And now let's go ahead and set up facial recognition, which they also include in the phone and it's nice because not every phone even does that nowadays so let's test out the facial recognition and see how quick it works Boop. there we go turn on there so yeah great facial recognition great fingerprint sensor and a complete overall total package with this brand new blue g90 pro which uh, i'm pretty darn happy about ta-da here we are with the g90 pro this is a really sharp looking phone I was really impressed whenever I first got it. I love this purple color. It, I mean, it kind of looks and feels like Fortnite. It's cool on the back of the box. I mean, Fortnite compatible, but digging in and playing some of the games on here, they actually work. And you can play Fortnite on high settings at 30 frames per second. And you can see all that in my full review, which the link is right there. But of course, I still like to make unboxing videos. Everybody wants to see what's in there. You got the charger, you got the case, you got the screen protector. All that good stuff because Blue always sends those out with their phones. And I gotta say, this right here is the best case that they have ever made. It's got the ventilated holes on the back or the slits or whatever, the openings you wanna call them to help circulate air in there so the phone doesn't overheat. And the phone has built-in water cooling. So like computers have water cooling. These cool gaming phones even have water cooling on them as well. It helps lower the temperature by up to six degrees Celsius, which, will help you keep you gaming longer, it won't burn up as much battery, and it's better for the phone and the overall performance. So lots of cool things. It's got an ergonomic design on it, and it just looks cool. I mean, this doesn't look like some cheap case or some cheap phone, and it doesn't run like one either. I mean, I've been really impressed with the way this phone works, especially if you can get it for the $199 price. It is a steal. If you pay $249, it's still worth it in my opinion. You got the quad camera array on the back, 48 megapixel camera, 8 megapixel wide angle. You've got your 2 megapixel depth sensor and also a 2 megapixel macro camera. So you can take those really cool up close and personal shots. Fingerprint sensor. It's got facial recognition technology. Take a look at this. Boop. Unlocked. Easy peasy. Works like a champ. So you get both of them on there. And that's something that's cool because there are more expensive phones like the LG Velvet and the LG V60 that don't have facial recognition. So I'm glad that they have it in here. It really is a solid device. It works well and it comes with everything you could possibly want, especially when it's kind of hard to get aftermarket accessories. That's one of the problems with blue phones. Yes, low introductory price point. Yes, they do come with the accessories, but if you want to buy more, there's not generally a whole lot that's out there, but sometimes a manufacturer like Tudia will come along and they'll have an aftermarket case for it and some other things. So hopefully we'll get that with this, but I mean, at 200 bucks, you just can't go wrong with this phone. It's sharp looking. And I mean, if you don't want to carry it with the case on it, I think this is one of the best looking phones I've seen all year. Maybe I'm just biased to the color purple, but I think this is a really sharp looking device. And I also think the price is really sharp and it's great that you get everything inside the box. So that's all I've got on my unboxing and my first impressions with the device. Hopefully, uh, if you're interested in this phone, this has been helpful for you. And if you've got any questions or comments about it, please leave them down in the comment section and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. As always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.